Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure, the channel, and the networks within. Joining me here is Warren Rayburn from SIV Fixed Cost. Warren, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you as always for having me, Allison. Pleasure to see you guys uh, here and the entire family from JSA and uh, longtime partnership for uh, for me personally and otherwise so always always a joy to get together with you yeah back at channel partners for another year so we got to catch up with you at channel partners last year what's new this year what's happened in the last 12 months and what is the goal this year for your team yeah so a lot of big news uh, for us at SIB um, you know we talked last year uh, specifically about our growth objectives and you know what we are looking to accomplish organically and inorganically and uh, you know having wrapped up our seventh acquisition, uh, Procure America, in June of 23, uh, got down the path of getting additional investment into the business itself. And, uh, you know, as I stressed last year, and, you know, having been in this industry for over 20 years myself, you know, coming into this opportunity, exiting the carrier and the supplier space, and coming to work with a group like SIB, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to come to work again. It's a new experience. And, uh, you know, with this latest round of investment, we're looking to take things to just another, another level. And, uh, I just would highlight for me the visionary uh, and uh, strategic genius with with what Kevin Flounders has executed, uh, building the business as he has, you know, over the course of his time there and five plus years, you know, but bringing this additional investment into the organization, um, you know, it's, it's a tremendous opportunity for us. You know, we have sister portfolio companies, um, you know, numbering some 69,000 locations globally, billions of dollars in assets under management. and. We're, uh, we're well positioned to come in and add value, you know, from the standpoint of our inventory. Uh, now with some enhanced automation, uh, Allison, that we have behind us. And, you know, as the name implies, cost reduction. So, yeah, it's it's an exciting time here for sure. Excited to be here and, you know, just get get uh, get that message out. Yeah. And cost reduction is something that everyone should be taking advantage of, right? Nobody wants to overpay. You guys do likely have some competitors in the market. So how are you standing out? from those competitors? Yeah, that's a great question. One of the biggest reasons I'm here, uh, frankly, is to draw that out uh, for our partners. And, you know, the the ways that we stand out, I, I would offer you, going back to, you know, the inventory aspect of what we do, we have a five-tiered approach to building inventory on behalf of clients. You know, there's a, a data point that I've latched on to internally, whereby it's estimated that upwards of 70% of telecom invoices today have an error of some form or fashion. Um, so to regurgitate that detail as inventory is inherently flawed in its logic. So we go down the path, Allison, of pulling call detail records from the carriers. Uh, you know, we have a series of call campaigns we conduct, modem pings, bandwidth utilization, and we even have field services at our disposal. So we want our, uh, we want our clients at the end of the day to walk away with a firm understanding of what they have. And then from there, they can then execute on those cost reduction initiatives. And we look at everything from now 1,500 automated audits uh, to a bullpen of seasoned subject matter experts in our space benchmarking, negotiation efforts. Uh, we want to make sure people are using what they're paying for, so right, right size and optimize. So it's a lot of that. And I think the final differentiator for me, Allison, is just the full scope of what we do. So our cost reduction efforts, obviously in the technology space, near and dear to my heart and messaging, you know, but I have peers in energy waste utilities, um, logistics, so shipping and freight. And then finally, we look at everything that goes, you know, and I, I've characterized as administrative and financial services. So merchant fees, treasury fees, you know, things of that nature. Um, so it, there's a diversity to it. We've built an ecosystem that our clients can take advantage of and save and save quickly. It is a full ecosystem. I love that you guys are covering every facet and saving. And like you said, it's key for people to know what they have first, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Make sure you're using what you have. Like You'd you said. be surprised. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, you moderated a panel today on positioning and monetizing expense management. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Give us a little key takeaway from those that might not have been able to attend and sure. what you want attendees to walk away with? Yeah, absolutely. And, and for me, it's that ecosystem reference again. And what we were encouraging partners in the room to consider is you, you don't want to be single threaded. You know, just as you're advocating on behalf of your clients to consider your resiliency and design aspects of your data or your voice experiences, you should be doing much the same thing when it comes to expense reduction and cost containment and inventory. So selfishly working with a group like SIB, you know, whereby we can help in a variety of areas. But if you're not today and you're working with a group that, you know, you're content with, Look around the room. You know, there's ways to add value um, and a different variety of ways for you to monetize those opportunities. As you said, you know, everything from contingency and shared savings models, managed service fees and commissions therein, and then using that enriched inventory to drive those carrier decisions and make informed decisions, you know, on behalf of their clients. So, uh, 
you know, nonetheless, I, you know, the panel I thought went exceptionally well. Great. You know, we took a deep dive into cloud and SaaS and some of the other material that we're working from uh, the standpoint of the tech room today. So, uh, you know, thrilled to be here and frankly, you know, thrilled by the response we've gotten thus far. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you. And for those who aren't here but want to connect with you, where can they go to learn more about SIB or to connect with you personally? Sure. Yeah. So uh, just go to aboutsib.com. Uh, you can get a hold of me as well through my LinkedIn. And uh, nonetheless, you know, uh, we're, we're eager right now, I would say more so than ever, to get into this partner ecosystem. So love to hear from you. If you're interested, curious or otherwise, please do reach out. Love to connect. Well, thank you so much, Warren, for joining us. It's always great to catch up with you and see you guys here live from Channel Partners 2024. Thank you, viewers, for tuning in. And until next time, happy networking. Thanks, everybody.